on door jams or even angled walls when you have cuts that need to go around two sides on an angle you're gonna need to make a cut like this how do we make a cut like this well we're gonna show you how today on Jones Knows it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be in the great outdoors forever free Believe it or not, a cut like this is really not that hard as long as you have a speed square or a triangle, whatever you want to call it. We call it a speed square, but it's a triangle, and this does all the actual work, believe it or not. So I'm going to show you how to do this in under a minute. First thing you want to do, get your center point. That is where the two angles meet, and that's right here. That's this part of the door. So we're going to mark that. So once we have that mark, then we want to find out how deep our board is going to go under, how deep our board is going to go under this. So by doing that, we put it to the furthest point back. That's where our angle needs to end. That's our longest angle side right there. So we put it there. Once we have that there, take our speed square, draw a line, transfer that mark onto the board right there. Now the speed square is going to do all the work. First thing you're going to want to do is extend your line and let these two points meet right there then with our speed square bam bam check that out and that is our angle right there we cut that Right there, that's our board. We've already made that cut, and you see, we put it in. Look at that, it's a perfect fit. Wow, and that is all there is to it. You use the speed square, and it makes you look like a pro every time. It does all the work for you. If you enjoyed this, be sure to check out all of our other content. We have lots of great videos just like this. We also have a PayPal link below. We're trying to get some better camera and audio equipment, but what helps us the most is please liking, sharing, and of course, if you already haven't, Subscribe. I want you to take out your favorite floor and mallet. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.